What up, what up? Winbush here. And today I'm going to take my x sand suits with my managed gloves onto my treadmill to capture some motion capture on the treadmill. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm on the treadmill. I'm going to walk at a flat normal pace about two miles per hour. I have everything set up on the HP laptop over there. GoPro camera in front of me and my Blackmagic camera looking at my computer there because I didn't want to record the screen capture. And so I have my camera recording on my laptop just to make sure that I get the optimal results and everything. And so I'm gonna go over here, start recording, and then I'm just gonna walk on my treadmill for about 60 seconds and see what kind of results we get. I'm gonna do about 60 seconds just to give us enough data to work with. So I'm just gonna stroll on here for about 40 more seconds. And that's about 60 seconds. So I'm gonna hit stop right here on my treadmill. There we go. I'm gonna come back over here to the laptop and let's stop this right here. So I'm gonna save this one out. Hit save like so. And there we go. So I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna to come to task. I'm gonna reset my grid again and just start at zero here. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but let me select my avatar and I want to bring it over to multi-level like so. And I just want to try it out on multi-level just to see what kind of results we get. So again, I'm going to hit record right here. I'm going to go back on a treadmill. I'm just going to walk it out for about 60 seconds here. So let me hit two miles per hour, hit start. And this one is doing multi-level. And then I'll bring this data into Cinema 4D afterwards just to kind of see what's good and what's not good. And then maybe I'll give it out to you guys for free inside of a treadmill pack. And that's going to be it for walking. And so now I'm actually going to run on a treadmill. So let me get everything set up. I'm going to set it back up for a single level, jump back on a treadmill, and let's go to hit a run on it. All right, so now that we did the walk, now I set it back to single level and I'm gonna go on a treadmill. I'm actually gonna run now, so maybe I'll put it up to like six miles per hour, seven miles per hour, just to get a good run. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. That was a run, seven miles per hour for 60 seconds. So now let me set it up for multi-level and do it again. All right, so I'm back here on the software. I'm gonna set it up for multi-level, like so. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click this. And maybe I'll just run for 30 seconds this time. So I'm going to come back up here, set this for seven miles per hour, hit start, and let's get right into it. So seven mile per hour run, let's go. All right, so that was about 50 seconds right there. So now let us get it set up for the incline. I can feel it in my calves. <laughs> <laughs> all right so after all those takes of uh, running on a treadmill doing incline and everything i'm out of breath so what i'm going to do now is take the stuff that we just recorded i'm going to go through hd processing and then i'm going to bring it into cinema 40 from there so let's go back to the laptop and i'm going to start with number four session four that's the one we started with i should have named these better but then we're going to come here, HD processing required, it's on slow. I'm going to leave it there, single level quality. I'm just going to hit start processing, even though it already started. And I'm just going to let this play out. And so I'm actually going to do this for auto clips. And then next time we're going to bring it into Cinema 40 and see what the results we got. Okay, so I got all the information off my laptop. I did HD processing inside the software there, exported everything out as an FBX file, brought it into Cinema 4D. As you can see right here, I have the character All Might from My Hero Academia. He's gonna be our test study right here. And so as you can see on the right hand side, I have everything listed out here and labeled. So I have the walk cycle for the single multi-level. I have the run at seven miles per hour at single and multi-level. And then I have the incline at 30 at single and multi-level. And so I already have everything all set up here. You can see that I have my character set up here 
with the Mixamo rig. And then I have auto XSANS information, the XSANS and Menace information in here as well. And I just set it up with the character definition tag in which I could do a more thorough walkthrough on how to set this up. If you guys are interested, just leave me a comment down below and let me know if you wanna see my workflow for bringing mocap into Cinema 4D with this easy setup here. But what I'm gonna do now is basically, I'm just gonna go through these one by one and just see how they set up. So I wanna go through walk cycle, single level, two miles per hour. I dragged it down. Let me forward it into my timeline a little bit here. And now we can see it's holding up pretty well there. Like I should have probably moved my arms out to the side. I mean, that's something that we could fix there. But um, yeah, so the single level is looking pretty good. Let me try it out with the multi-level on the walk cycle here, two miles per hour. So I'm gonna come back over here, just click and drag this into here. Let's move it forward in our timeline a little bit. Let's click play. And it looks like we're getting the same results. And so both results look like they're pretty good there. I'm using the single level and the multi-level. I'm getting the same exact results, but again, this is on a flat surface. And so I didn't expect it to do anything different, but just for testing purposes, I think this is suffice. So anytime you wanna do a treadmill on a wax cycle or anything like that, and it's gonna be flat, let's go with the single level. So now we're gonna test out the single level for the run. I'm gonna drag this down here. Let's see what happens here on a single level. So I'll just start this inside the timeline here a little bit further in. Let's click play. You can see the characters in a pretty good state here. And again, before I exported it out from the XSAN software, I actually did it. So it's staying in place. And so when you export out the XSAN software, you can tell it to either do it stationary or you can have it be mobile, which it will run off the screen. But I wanted to make sure that everything stayed inside the viewport. So I did stationary for these examples, but you can see this is holding up really, really well. Let's see what happens when we put it on multi-level here. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of the timeline come over here multi-level run seven miles per hour we're gonna click and drag this into here just move it inside of our timeline forward a little bit let's click play and this will be multi-level here you can see we're getting the same results again this is on a steady plane so i didn't expect it to do anything we're just walking on the flat terrain and so well they're starting to lose it a little bit but <laughs> for the most part i think whenever we're this is just a good case study to show whenever we want to run on like flat terrain. Let's use the single level, not the multi-level because it seems like the software was just getting confused there because it thinks that we want to move at an elevation, but we're actually just running on a flat plane. So anything flat, let's use single level, but this is going to be the real test right here. I have incline at single level and multi-level. So let's see what happens when I go on the incline. So I'm going to move back into my T pose, bring this down. Let's start with the single level move it forward in my timeline a little bit here let's click play and that's actually pretty dope there so you can see the foot is actually moving on the incline you can see my center of mass the way that i'm holding my body uptight whenever i'm going at that 30 degree angle on the incline there and the body work i mean it looks tremendous like everything holds up really really well if i had this inside of like you know loopable scene or something like that like it looks pretty good. So let's see what happens when I put it on multi-level. Now this is where the real test is gonna come in at. So let me go back to the beginning, come down here, incline 30 degrees, multi-level, move it forward a little bit and let's click play. So you can see the character is actually moving up in elevation, which is interesting because again, when I was on the treadmill, I was actually just moving in place, right? But since it's on multi-level, it's actually moving my character up in the scene, which is really, really cool. Like this is holding up really, really well, which I think is pretty dope. So depending on the scenario, like if we wanted to have our character walking up a hill or a mountain or something like that, if we put it on multi-level, it's actually gonna raise with the elevation, which is really, really cool. Or if we wanted to actually move it ourselves, like if we wanted to keyframe that position ourselves, we have that flexibility too with single level. And so I'm pretty happy with the results that we got here. This was a fun test. I wanted to do a walk cycle. This is something I haven't been able to do in the past on a treadmill, just to see if I could do it. There's a lot more experimenting that's gonna come since I know that I could get some really good results out of this. 
So hopefully this video helped you guys out. I think it's really cool that I could take my x suits on the treadmill, do a couple of walk cycles, and the information holds up really well. I didn't have to do any cleanup or anything. I just did HD processing out of the software, brought in the Cinema 4D, easily rigged it up to my character here, and I was off to the races. So if this video you found to be informational and helpful, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. If I get a certain amount of comments, or even yet, if I get a high number of views on this video, you know what? I'll give out all this data absolutely free. I'll clean it up for you guys, put it together in a nice package, and I'll upload it to my Gumroad. And so if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell your friends about this channel as well. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. i see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.